<laughs> Did I just hear hoo hoo? Hoo hoo. Uh oh. I think that means it's time to bring out the happy mail. Is that my happy mail? That is my happy mail. Let's see. Okay. Is it gonna fall? Is someone bringing it out? Where is my happy mail? I have. Ha You brought me pizza, friend. No, the pizza was my happy delivery. You done ate up the pizza and brought me the mail. But the mail is free. Thank you. Look at this. This is Walter. What a lovely surprise. He ain't gonna stay long. Bye, Mr. Mailman. Bye. That was a lovely treat. I was like, where is my mail? It ain't where it normally is. And then here come the mailman, y'all. Go on, friend. Okay. Can I reach out his happy mail? Yeah. See, because I asked y'all to share your good news with me and you understood the assignment, okay? So, let's see who wrote in today. All right, hi, Jennifer. I am excited to share that I am expecting a baby girl in May 2024. Ain't that sweet? This will be my first baby and you will have your number one fan coming soon. Thank you for the happiness you have shown the world. Thank you for making me laugh, which makes my baby laugh. Aw, you are a wonderful mother, and I hope to one day be as good as you are. Congratulations to you on your show. We love you. Shelby, Ah! Oh! God bless my spirit. Thank you so much for your letter, Shelby. You are so sweet, and congratulations on your new addition to your family. I'm super excited for you. And you know what? You know, I gotta, I had to give you something. I gotta get something for the little baby. Okay? I am sending you all the love and congratulations. You know I'm Mama Hood, right? Okay. If you ever need a babysitter, you just call me. But until then, y'all ready to get this show started? Yeah. All right. Now, 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 y'all, let's bring out our first guest. They built their incredible, successful careers side by side. They're a reality TV stars, they're business women, and they are WWE legends. Please welcome the incredible Nikki and Brie Garcia. <laughs> Are you used yeah. to Y'all used to this everywhere you go, right? I mean, yeah, incredible. Well, yeah, I guess, you know, when we'd walk out or when, when we go into the house with our kids, we kind of get the same energy. Oh, the kids right? give you that energy? They do, kind of. At least your Depends kids give the it day. to me, maybe not to you. If they see me have donuts in my hand. But... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then they give you that type yeah, of Yeah, and I Well, that. we love you like you got donuts in your hand. Yeah. And I'm happy Aww. to have you ladies back. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. Thanks for okay, us. let's see. The last time you guys were here, you were going by the Bella Twins, no? Yeah. You changed it to Garcia, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, how did that happen? How do you like the adjustment? It's actually, you know, it was crazy because it was really scary when mm -hmm. we decided to do it. I feel like anytime you have to make that decision, that big leap of faith, you're always like, okay, are we going to fail or is this going to be successful? But I have to say it's been almost not even a year, I guess, really six, right. I don't know. No, about a year. Oh, about a year. Yeah, you're right. about a year. Oh, it has been a year, yes. <laughs> um, Hello. Wow, time really goes fast. It goes fast. Too fast. But um, it's been really empowering, mm -hmm. I have to tell you, to finally get our power back and not to have to answer to anyone yes. yeah. and to actually, at 40 years old, make your own decisions and be in charge of your own career. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's I, been incredible. It has. And I mean, there are times that we, like, we, people mix us up, but... We'll be in meetings or people will be like, Bella's. I'm like, hey, I, I mean, Garcia. It's Garcia. <laughs> so you like, still got to get used to it. I do. I'll be in meetings and I'm like talking about us as Bella's. So that part's been tough. But I mean, that was two decades yeah. of our life. So Yeah. But you're legends, you know, yeah. so people love you, know Aww. who you are, Thank you know. You. So yeah. you're just elevating and switching it up a bit, yeah. right? Right. Exactly. As you should. Yeah. Thank Keep you. going. Yeah. I do have a question. Why didn't you just use your husband's last name? So, well, we, we thought, thought about, about this. That. I love and how you then, it together. <laughs> and no one can pronounce my husband's last name. I still struggle, you know? Can so. you say it without, like, making your face work hard? 
Wait, I can't? Chick Vincive. I can't. I feel like, move, Chick Vincive. It's hard. So we kind of talked about that. And we're like, and then we're twins. Mm -hmm. And I know it's, that's okay. the thing about having this empire with twins. Okay. You kind of have to have something that people can be like, Garcia's, Bella's, whatever it may be. That goes off your tongue. So yeah, yeah, so we were like, Danielson, Chick Vincives. It uh. just didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. But y'all make anything look good, sound good, yeah. so you could work yeah, whatever thank you, you. you yeah. come. Yeah. I think you can. Yeah. <laughs> so when you all started wrestling, do you remember what, what is a wrestling audition like? First of all, that's what I want to know. Yeah. Uh, well, we thought that we would go in there and it'd be like wrestling. So we had shorts and these tank tops on. I don't even, we had no makeup, like scraggly ponytails. Well, you told me we were going there to fight people. Well, that's a wrestling audition. So I thought. So I thought we so were going. Okay. I had no idea. Oh, yeah. So, so we like I pumped thought, each other up. We, we yeah, went in. I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I like gonna like? Am I gonna get my butt kicked today? What's happening? Like <laughs> yeah. I was so nervous. And then we show up, and it looked like a line of go-go dancers. And I was like, oh, this can't be the diva search. And they're like, no, this is diva search. Just put your name over here and get in line. And she looked at me, and I was like, I swear, like we're gonna wrestle. Like just <laughs> let's get in line. Let's like, do. It. What are you gonna make me do, <laughs> Bri? I was like, oh, so it was mad. awful. So which one of you are the like tougher one? For me, yeah, for you're, sure me. For sure, yeah. yeah I've it's always been the tougher one. On the outside, I feel like you're so tough, but when it comes to like really sensitive things, like you. That's great, you know, I can be sensitive. I could be a lover and a fighter, <laughs> so that's a good thing. Ah, yeah. That's I have a lot of empathy. She does. We both so. know. Oh, okay. Yeah, you but know. You, but together, y'all are a great team. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's it's a great, great tech one. team, yeah. <laughs> and then you just celebrated, what, your 40th birthday? 40th. Yes. Wow. I know, right? Wow is right. Yeah, look, I don't amazing. feel 40. Yeah, how do you feel? You, I feel it's 25. Like, yeah, well, you acted when you did, <laughs> at least. Just I do. No, <laughs> I like to give her a hard time. But I don't, I mean, us going into it, I don't feel 40. It's yeah. weird to even say it, but I love getting people's reactions, especially because working in this industry and if you're working mm -hmm. with people, whether it's on set, and they're in their 20s, they'll be like, whoa, you're 40? I'm like, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. I'm like, it's a great decade, I swear. It's a great decade. Yeah. And y'all did some fun things. You went on a fun trip for your 40th. Tell us about yeah. that. We did. We went to Lake Como, Italy, nice. which, oh, yeah. it was amazing. And it was our first time going on a vacation with no cameras, so it wasn't for the reality show. First time in we, 10 years. In 10 years. It was yeah. just a vacation, and we were like, oh my gosh. This is why people like to vacation. Yeah. You have nothing to do. Yeah. It was so. I mean, we even like would wake up in the middle of the night because of jet lag and we'd watch a show knowing that we could just sleep in. We were like, watching mm -hmm. Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. We had like. My husband was on it, so we had to make sure to vote. And all yeah. That. Do so much vino and just so much fun. Yeah. Sounds amazing. Do either of you dance? I mean, I with a lot of vino. I, love no. <laughs> I feel, I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're good. She you don't think so. What are you good. thinking? No, I mean, not when I see her husband dance. I'm like, okay, well, I didn't say I was a professional dancer. I well, said I was a good dancer. Like, in our family, there's a lot to compare. I look at him, and then if I see you, and I'm like, well, <laughs> I tried, I tried to keep that. <laughs> Okay, but, okay, so you guys did something called a flower retreat. What is yes. that? Yes. So we did this flower retreat in Tremezzo, and it was this florist put it on in Napa Valley. And so I was like, I've always wanted to be a florist, even before wrestling. That was. The job That's I thought I was meant to difference. do. huge difference. Right? Wrestling, a florist. <laughs> right. Okay. I know. <laughs> okay. And so I was like, okay, maybe going into this new decade of my life, I'm going to live that dream of being a florist. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to go on this floral retreat to just see, like, all the different steps. So my flower shop and how to do it. And it's the hardest job ever. Was like, it? go hug your florist oh. because they wake it's up in the hard. early morning. I mean, I was in charge of taking off all the thorns of the rose stems. I'm that like, sounds hard. Right? And yeah. painful. Yeah. Well, and I joined, not wanting to be a florist, but I saw the itinerary <laughs> and I was like, oh, I got to go. Like, I can't miss out. <laughs> Towards the end, I literally was just making Aperol spritz and sitting there watching everyone because I was like, I can't do this. Yeah. This is so So hard. you knew to get out of there like Yeah, I was like, I'll sit and watch you all and drink. But I'm not participating. It was magical. It was magical, though. It like, was magical. Okay. We were there was on something a, special. Yeah, we were on a 400-year-old farm mm. with these animals, looking at the mountains and the lake, and you're with flowers and just really great I think people. Our bed was 400 years old, but <laughs> I didn't complain. Yeah. It was very nice. That's <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Was it, was. it comfortable? Mm -mm. <laughs> not so much. <laughs> okay, I got one more question. I know your hair is different, right? Yeah. But if it was the same, how do people tell you apart? What's Gosh. the thing that's the go-to? 
I mean, you're definitely more sassy. But what if we didn't talk? And we just stared at them? See, because I'm trying yeah. to see. Can you and tell? I feel like, I feel like our, <laughs> our noses are different. Different? So, and Maybe? For sure. And our yeah. shape of our faces. Like, it's kind of weird. I got my mom's shape of face. Okay. You got dad's. I know. I'm like the meme. <laughs> you know, like the Will Ferrell meme that's out there, and it's when he was dressed up as a girl, and they're like, when um, they tell me I look like my dad, I'm like, feel you. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> like my dad with a wig on. You're definitely, I, I sense the sass. Oh, yes. yes. And I think I can tell, because I always try to tell the twins apart, your voices are slightly different. Yeah. yeah. Bree's like super deep, right? Okay. I think, I think so talking. when I hear it. So when I hear myself in an answer machine or... Mm -hmm. Oh, even, wow, you still hear those? No, or on the <laughs> podcast, I don't know. Oh, I think that's really I'm always middle like, school. I'm always like, that's my voice? And yeah. So I do have a deeper voice, for sure. Okay, yes, I hear it. Right. Okay, can y'all stick around a little bit because I'm going to figure it out about a time. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, with Nikki and Bree, we'll be right back. And we're back with Nikki and Bree Garcia. Y'all do so many amazing things. Tell oh. us about your podcast, The Nikki and Bree Show. Ooh, it's like happy hour with us. I know. <laughs> happy hour, it's like we're just fully open books. I always feel like it's like a reality reality show extended into a podcast. We're just sure. very open. Nothing's off limits, which I think my mom wishes there was some things <laughs> off limits. <laughs> it's like your muff's mom. Yeah, don't listen to this one. It gets kind of graphic in my bedroom. But, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Daytime, I forget. Now, how does your but, husband feel about you talking about the beer? Oh, he gets upset. We had to end up making rules. He goes, you can only talk about so much, but Nicole, please. Like, I'm a very private person when it comes to that, so. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, well, you're just so good, and I'm proud. Right? Yeah. You can't argue I, that. You know? Yes, and you yeah. also renewed your wedding vows on the podcast. We did. He thought I was crazy because it was only a year, <laughs> but I'm like, well, a lot can happen in a year. But it's crazy because it was still so emotional. I don't know what it is about when you like hold on to your loved one and look at each other in the eye mm -hmm. and like just say stuff from like the bottom of your heart. We did it on a live show and then it got very emotional, huh? It did. And I was like, oh man, I feel like I'm back in my wedding real. day. And then all of a sudden Gleb comes out and they did a magic mic routine and it changed real quick. <laughs> but oh, that's uh, the part I liked. Oh, that's the part you like. Yeah. I'm like, she got us. The vows were cute, but I mean, the magic mic dance. Well, that was really cute. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah, it was fun. Y'all are a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, you, you're one. Bonita, Bonita. Yeah. I hear y'all got some good news to share. We What's do, that? We do. You know me, you. Both? No. Both. Um, so Same we're. Time. Yeah. <laughs> so we're about to open um, up our tasting room doors. So Bonita, Bonita will finally have their own tasting room in downtown Napa. So you need to come visit nice. us. Yes. And the second label. Yes, and we also are going to be debuting a second label that's going into Walmart in California, the Pacific Northwest. Congratulations. And Bonita yeah. Bonita by um, Nikki and Bree. So we are so excited. Fancy. Yes. Fancy. Yeah. I almost want to guess. OK, hmm, which one do I think drinks more wine? <laughs> you would assume. I get it. <laughs> no? No, you know what, Bree and I, I don't know if it's being twins, but when a bottle gets open, it's never not shared. That's true. sharing is caring. And because we live right by each other, we're really crazy, because we can walk to each other's houses. So she'll call me up and be like, I'm opening up a really nice bottle of wine. I'm like, okay, pour yourself a glass, bring me the rest. We, Aww, and we do it all the time. We do, <laughs> we always share. Even if we don't drink it together, even though we're always on the phone. Um, yeah, so I say it's equal. For sure. Yeah. So it's equal. Equal. <laughs> I'll take that. Well, we're happy to have y'all here. Will you stick around just a little bit longer? Yes. yes. Okay. Like Nikki and Bree show streams Mondays and Wednesdays everywhere you get your podcast. And you can shop their wine, Bonita Bonita, online now. Nikki and Bree are sticking around to have a little fun with us with the audience next. We'll be right back. We're back with the beautiful Nikki and Brie Garcia. Okay, now being sisters, because I got one too, I'm sure you got into a lot of trouble together. Oh, yes. Ooh, still. <laughs> still. I love that. Still. still. It just yeah. don't end, does it? It doesn't. It doesn't. No. <laughs> well, honey, we want to hear y'all sibling stories in the segment we're calling Sibling Stories. <laughs> I can't wait for this. Okay, so Nikki and Bree, can you tell us some of the trouble that y'all got into right now? Oh gosh, where do we start? I mean, taking tests for each other. Yeah, I mean, we didn't go in each other's know, classes. Switching dates. 
I feel like having babies together, I mean, we have a lot Is of stories. Is that trouble? <laughs> well, maybe for our husbands. For sure. Yeah. Being <laughs> sisters, Sundays. I mean, a lot. A lot. You know, we thought we were the Spice Girls. Oh, yeah. We started a band. I we got... can't sing like you at all. I bet but... you will have a good blend. Oh. No. Or no, if we start seeing everyone run out, it's <laughs> yeah. so bad. Men <laughs> before the shower. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got a question. Which one of y'all got in the trouble got in trouble the most? Oh. Okay. Yeah. I mean yeah. I'm for sure. sure mom's favorite. She is my mom's oh, favorite. Yeah. Really? So what it is is we got in trouble saying you just got away with it all. <laughs> no. I just happened to get time out. Ah. I know. So we gotta have fun with the audience. Oh, we wanna hear yeah. some of their yeah. singing moments and stories. Where's Tanya? Oh. Hi, Tanya. Hello, thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Okay, we want to hear all about your, your sibling story. So, we just turned 50 last week, me and my twin. Oh, oh the twins! Yeah. The twins! That's nice! Cool. So, uh, growing up in Sri Lanka, we were identical and no one could tell us apart. Mm -hmm. But growing up in Sri Lanka in that background, um, we had curfew, we, it was an all-girls high school and all these things. So I used to cut school, I used to do all these things and would point at my twin. <laughs> oh, I love it. So it got so bad that the teachers asked my mom to cut my hair. So that, yeah, so I couldn't get into trouble anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's us. Oh I God. love that. I'm so bummed I didn't think of that. I was going to ask, did you guys ever do anything like no, that? No, but I should have cut school and blamed it on you. <laughs> I know. That was so smart. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Tanika. Hi. So one day I was feeling sexy and wanted to send a picture to my boyfriend on Snapchat. And I took the picture. Mm -hmm. And I got a call soon after. And it was my sister instead of my boyfriend. And she's like... I just seen your bare backside on Snapchat. And I'm like, oh, are you serious? So she gave me instructions on how to delete it, but it was, I'll never do it again. But it was crazy. <laughs> well, your sister saved you. Oh, yeah. Yes, she did. Oh, yeah. I think Juju would just leave my butt out. But what, what, what would you do? <laughs> well, that has happened to you before. Okay. <laughs> and I feel like I've had to tell you to take it down. Actually, on Twitter. And okay, you you I know, I it remember. I don't want to remember that. Ah, okay. I did what yeah. you did. Now we got Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Jennifer. So I was about 12 years old, and my parents had went out of town. So they left us with our older brother. He was supervising us. So they locked their keys in their bedroom so that he couldn't drive the car. So what he did was basically bribe us with a, a meal from a fast food place if um, we wouldn't snitch on him with him kicking in the door. So um, when my parents came back home, um, they asked, like, what had happened? And being I'm the chosen one, I'm the only girl, um, I told them, hey, we were playing in the hallway. We were playing kickboxing, and we accidentally kicked in the door. My bad. Till this day, they still don't know. They know now. And I got paid off <laughs> yeah. with right. a 10-piece chicken nugget meal. That's what you got paid off with? You yes. knocked down the door ten for a 10-piece chicken, chicken nugget, nugget meal? meal. It was delicious, though. It was good. It was worth it. Definitely worth it. Mom, Dad, I'm sorry uh -huh. if you're listening or watching this. My bad. Oh That's my right. God. Thank you for that, Rachel. OK, now that was, that was brave. Yeah. You owe your mom and your daddy a good old apology, but I bet you that 10 piece was worth it, huh? It was worth every second of it, and the fries. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we're going to get you another one just for that story. Oh, <laughs> Nikki and Bree, thank y'all for coming back. Will you Thanks come back and see us again? Yes. yes. We enjoyed you so much. We'll be right back. You may remember our next guest as a fan favorite on The Bachelorette. But he is here today as a Wall Street Journal bestselling author to talk money with us. Please welcome Jason Tartik to the show. <laughs>
Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. It's such an honor to have you. Y'all see him? Yeah. He's here in the flash. <laughs> Okay. Now, most people know you from the series of The Bachelor Brad, but yeah. people don't know you have an extensive background in finance. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I was in the banking industry, and I got my MBA in accounting and finance. And if I go into, like, all the ins and outs about the business stuff, that could get boring. But here's the fun stuff. As a banker, I got to see all the numbers that the banks want to see about all of us mm -hmm. as it relates to our financial health. So as a result of that, I can kind of give the trading secrets through the book of like the numbers we actually have to focus on. Ah. So yeah, I was in banking for about 10 years and now own a few companies myself. So it's That's smart, very genius of you. Yeah. Is that what led you into writing the book? Well, for this one specifically, it's like, okay, I got this background in finance. And then I took the detour and went into reality TV, mm -hmm. Bachelor Nation, a little dating show. <laughs> and so, <laughs> got some fans there, I love it. And so, you know, there's these worlds of like love and my personal love life being out there in public mm -hmm. tied with my professional life. I'm like, wait a second. We have so many books that are centered around self-help with yeah. love and with money, but we haven't married the two. And we know that money arguments are the second leading reason for divorce right wow. now. And we know that 50% of married and cohabitating relationships don't feel comfortable having these conversations. Mm. So I was like, this is the time to do it. We'll take those eight numbers that you have to know, that the bank says you should know, okay. and then we'll tie it into love and relationships and we'll learn to talk money to each other. That is awesome, because we all need this. You're right, we don't want to talk about it. Yeah. Now you had a successful career in finance. What made you want to get into reality TV? Yeah, that, that's a wild one. Now, so I was 10 years, I was like the yes corporate guy. Like, you tell me where to go, I'll go. I moved from New York to Seattle, mm -hmm. didn't know anyone. What I found, and I don't know if this is relatable to some people out there, but sometimes the system will pigeonhole you to take a direction with your career mm -hmm. that might limit your creativity and all the dreams that you ever had. Right. I found that I was like living my title and everything through my suit. The way I talked was just connected to how I was as a professional. I lost myself. Mm. And so when I got approached to go on a reality show, everyone in my life was like, Absolutely not. My mom was like, that's <laughs> she my, I, yeah, she was like, I watched that show. You stay off of it. <laughs> but for me, it was like the first time I like just did something for myself. And right. of all things, going on a reality show is what mm -hmm. changed the whole trajectory of my professional success, my personal happiness. And sometimes in this life, like you got to take shots that are unconventional. Otherwise, you'll be down the hole that the system puts you down. And so... It was that that kind of changed life for me. Wow, and it has yeah. changed in a mighty way. And I love how you're blending kind of your worlds in a way. And I hear you're gonna teach us some things on how to save or what to save and what to spend. Yeah, we're gonna talk a little spend and save. We're gonna teach us some things. Yeah, we're gonna do We're ready to things. learn some things. What you got things. for us? All right. So the first one, so save or spend, people talk about buying coffee or making coffee. So this is, a, this is one we deal with every day. Mm -hmm. I'm a big coffee guy. I have about 20 cups a day, okay? I like coffee too. Now, if you brew your own coffee, on average, it's about a quarter. If you go to your local uh, coffee shop, it's about four bucks. Now, with finance, right, you think about this. If I have a toothache, mm -hmm. I instantly go to the dentist because mm -hmm. it's a pain point. With finance, the system doesn't create instant pain. It's like a slow drip. Okay? We just slowly feel it. So okay. the difference between a quarter and four bucks, we could deal with it. Well, if you have 20 cups a week, that difference becomes material, $5 to $80. You do that on an annual basis, you're talking a difference of $260 to over 4000 And if you take that difference and you're able to invest it at 10% return, think about what you could do with that money. Right. So that's the stuff. we got to think the long game with finance. So that's one, spend or save. Y'all listening? Okay. <laughs> Now, we, are now we go coffee, right? After coffee, what do you do? Okay. You got lunch, right? So what do we want to do? We all want to go out to lunch. Yes. So the big one, spend or save. Lunch, make it, or go out. What would you do? What's your go-to? Hmm. Well, I do like to get out and go okay. a little lunch sometimes, but okay. I, I like a little sandwich, too, yeah. at home. Okay. Well, take it. I'm going to ask you this question. You tell me what you think the answer is. February 20 to February 2024, how much have grocery prices increased? Take a shot at a percentage. Oh, you asking the wrong one right now. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you the answer. Tell me. 25%. So I don't know if people feel that when they're buying groceries, but 25% in four years. Now, if you make your lunch, it's going to be roughly around four bucks a day. 
But if you go out to lunch, it's around $15 a day. So same type of concept. You're talking about $20 a week making it or $75 going out. And again, you multiply that on an annual basis. That's 1000 versus close to 4000 So that's the stuff we got to start thinking about. Mm. So on that one, we want to save. We want to stay home. Okay, stay now, home. Now the last one we'll do is, or we'll do a few more, but generic groceries versus like, you know, all the high-end labels out there, you know, yeah. right? Here's a big one. This number's crazy. The difference in price before the name brands and generic, 40%. Now, if you think about it, here's a tip. Look at the ingredients. Almost always the ingredients are the same. The same. It's the flashy packaging, the packaging. and the sparkling lights that are getting us. So, you know, if you're spending $10,000 a year on, you know, generic products and groceries versus name labels, that's, that's a difference of four grand. Now, I got one crazy stat for you that they'll blow you away. $100,000 mm -hmm. in 1974, if it was invested in the S&P 500. Fast forward to end of 2023, if you had reinvested all your dividends, that values over $18 million. So the idea behind that is if we could get our money working for us instead of spending, right. it could change our lives. It could change our lives. Wow. This is really good. Can you stick around? Because we want to learn a whole lot more. Let's do it. Oh, All my right. goodness. More with Jason when we return. We'll be right back. I got a question of my own. I want to know. We're back with financial expert Jason Tartik. Okay, we need more of these money tips. What else you got for us? Okay, so spend or save, we're on the same game, and it's been fun, but this is gym membership. So do you get the gym membership, or do you know go for a run outside? Here are some wild facts about it. So these like luxury boutique gyms, it's mm -hmm. a huge market now. So in 2022, a $50 billion market. Why is it so big? Because they're charging people $300 to $1,000 a month. So mm. I'm all about investing in your health, but you could do it in a more affordable way. Some memberships now are 30 to 40 bucks a month. But here's the consumer tip I have for you. If you talk to your health insurance or even your employer, sometimes they will kick a portion of it because you're investing in your health. Mm -hmm. So maximize all your resources first before you decide what you're gonna do. And if you really wanna save a bunch of bucks, go to the local park, go for the run outside. I like to go to the park. You know what I mean? I like to be outside. Refresh your one with nature, so yes. that's a good way to do it. Yeah, you know, Jason, I, I'm a shopper. Okay. So what about shopping? Yeah. How, like. Can yeah. I shop every day? Yeah. Uh, do, can I buy the same thing more than once? Or like, how do yeah. I manage that better? Okay, so here I like to make, like, it's tough to make money fun, but let's make it a little fun here. When you go into a grocery store, mm -hmm. there's usually 39,500 items to choose for. Mm -hmm. All of us here, we pick different things at different price points because it makes sense to us. So it's tough to put like cookie cutter solutions, but here's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna test you to try and do. Okay. Okay, it's called behavioral based budgeting. So you look at where you're spending money, uh -huh. but you don't worry about the amount. You ask yourself, why am I buying that? What is it doing? Is it filling it for me or am I filling it for someone else? A basic example, I learned the hard way. Me. I was, well, see, good, you're, you're nailing <laughs> yeah. it then. Okay. I learned the hard way. I was like opening bar tabs and telling people to come spend on my dime. I was doing that because I had some like insecurities mm. and confidence issues. And all of a sudden, my internal behavioral issues were impacting my wallet. So, mm. you know, you do you. You look good okay. by that dress. Because but, my saying know. is, if my mama used to say, if you work hard, you should play hard. And my idea of playing is shopping, y'all. So that means I should never. Yeah. Never stop shopping, okay? <laughs> you worked for it. I did. Just you be know? aware of it, okay. though, right? Be like, aware. Just know how, the biggest thing is money doesn't lie. Numbers don't lie. Stories change, context shift. Numbers don't lie. So just keep in check. It's a scorecard. See how much you're spending and create a budget. Okay. okay. I, I'm going to take that tip. Okay. And you dedicated your book to your parents and your grandfather. Yeah. Like, what did they teach you about money? Yeah, so my parents always... You know, they taught me the value of a dollar mm -hmm. and held me accountable to it. Uh, my grandfather, who we lost uh, in, in the summer of 2022, RIP, Grandpa Lenny, but uh, he was an oral surgeon. He was really good at his skill set, but he wasn't good at money management. And back in those days, there wasn't much regulation, and he got taken advantage of uh, mm -hmm. by a financial advisor. And so as a result of that, he lost over 10% of his net worth and took all the money himself and taught himself how to invest. Then at 16, he sat down and showed me every dollar that he earned and every dollar that my grandmother earned and what they saved. He said, the biggest thing I want to teach you 
is that we need to have financial transparency because you can learn from my mistakes. Mm. And as a result of it, you can learn the things that you're just not being taught now about how to invest and how to take control. And that's so important. That's something I learned from my grandfather. Wow. Yeah. He taught you some a mighty thing, that's yeah. for sure. Now you're schooling out somewhere. Yeah. Okay, now, before you go, we got a burning question because we know you was on a bachelorette, but would you consider being on the, the next bachelor? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's nice. Right? I, I, so I haven't been asked to, you know, that last time I was talked about being a bachelor was 2018. Mm -hmm. They got this new thing called the Golden Bachelor where, like, it's, oh, you know, yes, I think I'm bachelor. on my way to the Golden Bachelor. Okay. But, you know. <laughs> And I'll look for you to come back here and teach us some more. Will you come back and see us? I would love to. It's All right, we'll be here. looking for you. But guess what? One more thing. Everyone in the audience is going home with a copy of Jason's book, Talk Money to Me. Yes. To find out more about Jason and where to buy his book, please visit our website. We'll be right back. April showers brings May flowers, but what will my audience bring me today? Let's find out in a segment called Mama Hood Needs. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be fun. Let's meet our contestants. What's your names and where are you from? Hi, my name is Caprice and I'm from Dallas, Texas. Hi, Caprice. Hi, my name, name is Stephanie and I'm from Fontana, California. <laughs> Okay, so all of you guys over here are Team Caprice, and all of you guys over here are Team Stephanie. Okay, so listen up, because we about to go in. I'm going to ask for something, and you have to find it in the audience. Like, I'm going to ask for some lipstick or a shoe. Then you two ladies will race up the aisle and get it from somebody on your side of the audience. The first one that brings it to Mama Hood gets a point, and... Whoever gets the most points, of course you win. Y'all ready? Woo! Okay. All right, so we, you ready? Get yeah. yeah. All right. We're keeping it good and fresh. Mama Hood needs a pack of gum. Uh-oh, Caprice is out. Damn. Uh-oh, uh-oh, go, Stephanie. All right. Okay, that, that's... That was a good run. That was an excellent <laughs> run. Girl, I don't even know how you got here this quick. Okay. <laughs> Team Caprice get one point over here for bringing the gum. Come on, guys. Come on. Y'all fast. Okay. Listen, I'm seeing some good-looking friends out there, so I know, ooh, we have one of these. Mama Hood needs an eyelash curler. Give me five, give me five, give me five. You got this. Okay, okay. Some of y'all came real far to come see about little old me, Mama Hood needs an out of state driver's license. Bring them down. That was good. I mean, okay, oh, yeah, we got Florida and we got New York State. I don't know who it belongs to. Okay, that, that was clear. Don't, now, this is the happy place. We're going to get along. The, to Caprice, you got that one, you, right? Buddy. Oh, she got that. You was fast, though, okay? You know what? Mama Hood need a flask. A flask? That's a flask. Oh, a flask. Flask. Oh, flask! Does this count? Come on, people, a flask! <laughs> not a chancla! I'm sorry. I'm not a chancla! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I got a question. Okay, well, Caprice got that one, but, but, Stephanie, Stephanie, baby, whose shoe you got? <laughs> My Thea's. It was sitting right there! Okay, okay, that, that was good teamwork. You was quick, though. Okay? <laughs> Like getting it back. <laughs> Y'all are cracking me up. Okay, okay, we got we got one more. All right, you know what? This is the final one. 
I'm sure somebody got this out here because when I go out, sometimes my edges get to sweat and I need some edge control. <laughs> You try. You try. <laughs> yeah. That was amazing. Okay, you know what? Caprice, you are our winner today. <laughs> Anthony, you are awesome too, okay? You better do your dance. Get it, get it. Man, you sure are good running around. You did that. Man, you were awesome too, okay? You did your good running. You did your good running. I think you need something to get to your rematch. Okay, the Nordatrack S22i Studio Bike has a smart adjust technology. It changes your ride based on your heart rate and can adjust incline, decline speed and simulates the real world terrain. You're both getting an iFit membership and a bike because you deserve one, two. Here you go, because you was a running like you was crazy. This is for you ladies. This is for you. You are awesome. You are awesome. Y'all were awesome. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.